So the purpose of these videos is not always uh, instructional. A lot of times it might just be for entertainment purposes. Uh, these, these welds, for example, uh, if you want to learn how to weld, uh, you're on the wrong channel. Uh, I'm self-taught. All the welding that I've learned how to do is, well, from watching YouTube videos and um, it gets the job done, but uh, it's not pretty. So let's just, uh, let's censor, censor that out until it's, uh, until it's looking better. There we go. Just uncensor this now for you. See, doesn't that look better? When people see some of my projects, they always ask if I'm a. They always say, "Oh, you're a welder." No, I'm still a grinder at this point. Not a welder. I'll get there. So I've decided on these pegs here um, I was going to basically treat those like dowels and cut holes into the back side and then uh, slide the shelves in so they'd be like a floating shelf but the only issue with that is it has to be so dead on perfect otherwise they're not going to fit in right and trying to get it level with this old barn wood that is warped and nowhere near level. It's just, I'm asking for a headache. So what I'm gonna do is just sit them on top. So here's a little uh, boo-boo I wasn't really uh, planning on showing you guys. Um, just like the tops, I decided to weld a, a little plate to cap off the end here. And uh, as you can see, it didn't go so well. Um, and I wasn't going to show you guys, but... Uh, I got to thinking about some of my uh, my favorite YouTubers. Um, one of them being Laura Kampf, uh, K-A-M-P-F. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But she posted a video a few months ago. It's titled, How to Fail. Um, and it talks a lot about all the mistakes that she shows in her videos and why she does it. Um, and you know, one of the things, one of the reasons why I want to show you guys this is because maybe you can then um, learn from my mistakes and avoid them yourself. Um, what I really should have done here is before welding these two pieces together, I should have welded this cap on first. Um, and then ground it all down, get it nice and smooth, and then weld these two pieces together. And um, it would have been a lot cleaner. Wouldn't have this big gap.
So I did cut these plates a little oversized. Um, kind of a mistake, kind of not. I wanted to play it safe and have a little uh, bit too much material and could take some off. I can't weld here in the shop. Where you see me welding is actually out at my, uh, my parents' place, which is about a 45 minute drive from here. So uh, I didn't want to hurt myself by, by cutting these too small and not being able to weld them on. So I figured I'd make them big, grind it down. I still probably should have taken a little bit more time when cutting these plates and made them a little bit better size. Um, I'm just wasting a bit of time grinding away material that if I had just taken a little bit more time uh, with cutting them, I'd be saving a lot of time now. So, another thing to learn from. So this is where it'll get a little tricky. Um, I'm gonna try and heat it up right in here. See if I can bend this down just a bit so it'll sit flat back here. And that will just help level it out. to epoxy the dowel that broke off with a special um, metal epoxy by Loctite. Let it sit for 24 hours, came back in, tested it, put a little bit of weight on it and it snapped right off. Um, decided I needed to do the right thing, take it back out and uh, re-weld and now I'm not worried about it going anywhere. So uh, yeah, and then I did end up painting it off camera. Um, I just had to try and get it done quickly and figured you guys know what painting something looks like, so didn't need to record it. Um, yeah, pretty happy with how it turned out. I really like the flat black, and now it's time to put the shelves on.